I'm not so afraid of robots really replacing human workers will be more autonomous. Uh, workers will Esa barrera que existía antes entre trabajador y empleador se va reduciendo cada día más. Entonces, on s'affranchira de, de, des aspects géographiques et la virtualité sera partout. We're in the early stages of a major technological revolution. Computers, software, big data are vastly expanding the set of things that machines can do today. Machines are just beginning to learn how to pick up on subtler social cues and how to learn how to do tasks on their own. And as the machines get better at that, there'll be a broader set of jobs that are affected. It's possible that at some point in the distant future, machines could replace human labor, but that period is very far away. And in the meantime, machines complement human labor in all kinds of ways. They make us more productive, they make us safer, they allow us to do more interesting and varied jobs. Before we look at the future of work and the elements of digitization, it's important to look back at the past of work. The first wave of jobs that were especially affected were routine information processing jobs, where we can define clearly the steps of the tasks that need to be done. You can take those steps, you can codify them, and then you can digitize them. And once you digitize them, you can make a copy, or 10 copies, or 100 million copies. That process automation tends to reduce the demand for many of these middle skill jobs, clerical jobs. What remains behind? Well, on the one hand, you have professional, technical, and managerial jobs. And on the other hand, you have many jobs these, uh, that are also growing that are not highly educated or highly paid. And these are food service, cleaning, security, Some of the new jobs that will be created are in areas of social interaction, nurturing, caring, persuading people, sales, coaching. These are all jobs that rely on interpersonal interactions that machines so far are pretty bad at. Many of them are creative jobs, so jobs in research, jobs in entertainment, jobs that require physical dexterity, like being an electrician or a plumber or a construction worker. So there's a broad set of activities uh, that, uh, that I think you know, uh, are hard to automate and will become more, not less important. We're going to find out many things about sharing with others. Do you know why we share? Let's find out. I think the sharing economy might be a good thing, but only if there's a shift in what is considered common grounds and what is plus en plus on a une source de revenus première et puis on a éventuellement des revenus d'appoint. Comme on l'était dans le Estado va tener que pensar cómo toda la, la net de seguridad social se adapta a esta nueva realidad. Digitization presents opportunities for people to monetize their assets, to turn your car or your apartment into uh, a source of income. At the same time, it presents some challenges in terms of how we define workplace relationships. So what happens if you are driving a, a car uh, for profit and you get into an accident? Are you someone who's entitled to protection or are you on your own? We traditionally measure things like how many jobs have been created when we really now have to go to a much more detailed analysis of the quality of the jobs, the quality of the workplace, the security that you have. Ich sehe für den Staat die zentrale Aufgabe darin, den Rahmen zu schaffen und die richtigen Anreize dafür zu setzen, dass Unternehmen, Beschäftigte und Sozialpartner gemeinsam den Wandel der Arbeit gestalten können indem wir die Weiterbildung gezielt fördern und eine neue Weiterbildungskultur schaffen, können wir alle Beschäftigten auch ertüchtigen, sich in der digitalisierten Arbeitswelt zu bewähren. We are in the post crisis, but still with more unemployed than before the crisis. So this is what the what the meeting is going to be about getting our heads together, getting our skills together, our knowledge together, and finding the best practices. Uh, this is what the OEC is about. Better policies for better lives. In this particular case, better labor policies for better lives. <laughs>